received a grant to do a very large project about restoring the White Lake area because we are coming off, we are being delisted as a place of concern because we've cleaned up the lake around here. And so that um, grant was through the Michigan Humanities Council, where if anyone, the adults want to pick up these. Uh, it's a very intensive pro uh, project. We're asking for input from people in the community. Uh, there's a blog, there's a website, there's all kinds of things to go on. But in conjunction with that, I wrote a note, <coughs> and it was to the White Lake Community Fund of the Community Foundation for Muskegon County. That's their logo. And they are providing the funds for us to do the family night programs on the environment. So we will be having those every other month. This is the first one. And then we start up in January, hopefully, if the weather doesn't kill us, and keep going from there. And we've got six of them all lined up. Uh, tonight, like I said, is our first one. We have Mrs. Tate, who's here with her environmental club from the Whitehall Middle School. The students that are involved have name tags on them, so you can pick them out of the crowd. And they're going to talk about our environment and show us how to build a backyard wildlife habitat. She didn't tell me what kind of wildlife, so <laughs> this will be interesting. And they have project workstations, so you guys will be split up and go to different stations and do all kinds of things, including get wet. There's water over there, and she probably didn't want you in this one. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put her in charge. She's going to introduce the club and tell you what we're doing tonight. Hi. Um, my name is Mrs. Tate, and I teach eighth grade science at West Middle School. Thank you. <laughs> there. Um, yes, my students who are here for the environmental club, I have um, sixth graders, I have two seventh graders, I think, and three eighth graders here tonight, and they have all volunteered their time um, in the last couple weeks, staying after school. Um, I think they stayed after four or five different days, and I really kind of put them in charge, gave them some um, curriculum books I had, and I said, find some activities that you think would be fun for kids to do, and I was just blown away um, by their commitment to, um, to doing this for you guys tonight. We were really excited to be here. Um, just for one quick um, little correction here, um, my children also are wearing name tags, my own personal children. So just in case you're looking at someone who's really short and like, wow, middle school kids are getting smaller and smaller <laughs> on these days. No, those are just my own children who wanted to wear name tags. Um, and, they, and they might be helping out, yes, as well. Um, so we're here tonight to talk a little bit about the um, animals that live in White Lake, above it, around it, um, you know, what is this, this ecosystem that we have. And um, some of my students, we have three eighth graders here tonight, they've been doing some water quality testing in the lake. We did that last week and we've been talking about the health of the lake. Um, and one of the things that we're doing that around is this idea that how do you have a healthy lake and river so that um, some of our large sport fish like trout and salmon want to come up and spawn in the river. And so one special little treat that we brought tonight, um, he doesn't do much at this point, but if uh, at some point you want to come up and take a look at this little guy here in this cup, this is a salmon, a salmon egg. egg. Thank you, Allison. Uh, this is a salmon egg that is about to hatch. Yes. It will probably not hatch while you're here tonight. But if it did, that would be just a bonus, wouldn't it? Yeah. It, yeah. Actually, one of her eggs hatched in her classroom today, I think, right? Allison, thank you. Um, yeah, we had our first fish hatch out today, so that's why I know they're about to hatch. But when you get a chance to come up and look at it, you, you can see the eye spots, you can see its little backbone curled around. So you can see the fish inside the egg. And we're keeping it on ice because salmon like their water to be cold. And ideally, we'll be able to put this back in our classroom tank. We have a tank full of these um, in my classroom. We want to be able to put him back, or her, you know, yeah. right now, later tonight, hopefully still alive. So that's, we brought this just for a fun thing to kind of look at. Um, but we have stations that are set up around the room, and some of the things you're going to be doing are looking at what are called macro invertebrates, and they are the things that this little guy will want to eat as he grows up. Okay, some of the little critters that are in the water, and you'll get a chance to look and see what's in the water. Um, thank you. Yep, she came with me. Um, so we have some macros, we've got a couple of games where you're going to be, um, this one's more like a board game, but we have a version of musical chairs, and both of those have to do with this idea of invasive species, 
or things that have come into Lake Michigan and sometimes into White Lake that don't belong there. Uh, they're not native um, and they cause uh, ruckus with some of our native um, animals that we have there. We also have a couple of art stations for those of you that like to be creative and make some art. We have a station over there where you're going to um, get to make a bookmark or two to take home for yourself and with some different stamps that you can use on those. And then in the back we have um, some information on creating a certified wildlife habitat in your yard so you can help support all of the animals that live in this area as well. There's some different coloring pages you can take them home. True. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but what we have first, I, first I guess I shouldn't have done this in the beginning, but I would like all of my Whitehall um, element, er, elementary, Whitehall Middle School <coughs> Environmental Club students to stand up and maybe even come to the front. Um, all right, you want to start and say your name, uh, say what grade you're in, and you want to say maybe something that you really like about Environmental Club and why you're involved in it? Your favorite thing that your favorite thing we do. Um, my name's Mark. I'm in seventh grade, and I like to do the recycling stuff. My name's Micah. I'm in seventh grade, and I like to do planting stuff. My name's Sam. I'm in eighth grade, and I like to. My name's Taylor. I'm in eighth grade. And I like to be a part of our school and plant plants. <laughs> I'm very real on an eighth grade. I like to plant plants. <laughs> Maybe someone next to you who can read it. 
could read that to you. These, these middle schoolers can help when we help them out. On your card, there's a part where it says, who eats me? And it says what things eat what's on the front of your card. So on this card, this blood worm card, it says fish and aquatic insects eat me, eat this blood worm. And then it says, what do I eat? And it says phytoplankton or detritus. Ooh, that's a big word. That means kind of some junk on the bottom. Okay? Now, what we're going to do, we'll try this and see how it works. We might have to do a practice time. Taylor represents the sun. And who knows what we get from the sun? What do we get from the sun? Sometimes food. Sometimes food from the sun? It helps plants, right? What does it give plants? Um, I don't know, but I forgot what it's called. Nutrients. Well, it doesn't really give plants nutrients. It helps plants do something, though. Only grow. It, it helps the plant make food. It helps it grow because it gives the plant energy, right? Energy comes from the sun. How many of you have ever stood out in the sun and you're like, oh, that that heat, that energy feels so good? You guys ever notice that in the summertime? or in the winter time maybe? Well, it does that for plants. So look at the front of your card. I'm hoping we have some plants here. Does anyone have a card with a plant on it? Because, no, that was not a plant. You got something that needs energy from the sun. Does anyone else have plants? No? Okay, Taylor is going to pass the ball of energy to the plants. Wait, so I pass the ball? You hold on to one end though, and then you pass the ball. There you go. Okay, now the plant is going to pass the ball of energy to something that either it eats, which plants don't eat things, or something that eats that plant. So, let's see what our choices are. Zooplankton, water fleas, cocoa pods, snails, mollusks, or fish. Wait, so I eat photoplankton and that Okay, so he could pass the energy to you. But what he's going to do, I'm going to demonstrate here, he's going to hold this with one hand and then pass the ball of energy to you. Okay? And then you're going to look. You're going to look for someone that is either a lake trout, an alewife, phytoplankton, zooplankton, copepods, or detritus. Anyone? Oh, good. So now you hold. The string like he did with one hand, and then Taylor is going to help pass the ball of energy. Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that was close. He threw it. There you go. Touch me. All right, so who can you pass the ball of energy to? Yeah, everybody hold their. I touch a small fish. Is it going to make it? A small fish? Some big fish. I'm going to get it into a sun animal. Okay, so who? Who is one of those things? I have a bloody snack. He said insects and small fish. Two or algae. Two or algae. Okay. The little small fish. Okay. Everyone will get a chance. The large fish. That is not so much. All right. So why don't you tell the group what you are? Green algae. Delicious. So you can pass energy either to something, um, something that eats green algae. What eats green algae? Water fleas. Water fleas. Oh, water fleas. Just cocoa pods. He's a Let's let her read the list first. Where are you at? Cocoa pods. Yeah. Yeah, but. There's other things. Water fleas, cocoa pods, snails, mollusks. Mollusks. Okay. So, is there any? Let's see if we can make it go across the circle. Any snails or mollusks? Yeah. My cousin has a fine water flea. You have a fine water flea. Okay. 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 I think we've got someone on the other side here. Yeah. There you go. Oh, All right. Oh, this is right. Pull it up. There you go. Oh, he's a fine water flea, and he eats bacon and a large fish. Large fish. Does anyone have a large fish? Oh, there's a large fish. 
A little guy with a large fish across the circle. <laughs> No, I think. Oh, okay. There's a yellow perch, so the human can. I eat fish, aquatic insects in Hawaii, plankton, and. Detritus. Are there any plankton here? It's not plankton. Phytoplankton or fish? Anyone has a fish or an insect? Other fish, ducklings, frogs, and rodents. Other fish, ducklings, you have a duck? He is a duck. He is a duck. Who is a duck? He does. He does. That's a duck. Oh, okay. Here's the duck right here. No, I'm just a duck in a goose. Oh, he's a duck. Oh, he's a duck. Oh, he's a duck. Oh, he's a duck. Emergent weeds, small invertebrates, larval insects, and grains. I think you would eat a stud, not a clam. What do you have, people over there? What did you have? Mine is boring. Why don't you pass it over to the insect across the way? Mm -hmm. yep. I'm Matthew. You're Matthew. Matthew, you're a dragonfly, I thought. Who eats me? Fish. What do I eat? Mosquitoes, liches, and other small flying insects. Um, I Oh, that's right. Middle schoolers don't 
Can we choose our partners? Well, um, yes, let's do that. Let's let's partner up and we'll see how many partners we have. Um, raise your hand if your birthday is in December or January. Okay, we have December. Okay. How about February? How about March? Okay. On March. All the March and the December people are going to start um, at the coloring station. Wait, I want to be with you. Yeah, you go with them. Yeah, you go with them. Who are my April, May, June people? Any April, May, June people here? Okay, April, May, June. You can start over there. Yeah. 